my boys and girls. It's Mrs. Quintillion again. I'm here to do another lesson with you. This one is 5.6 and it is found on page 349. We're going to do the bottom part of 349. You should be doing the top on your own today. So I'm going to just do number 16 down here at the bottom with you. All right. So, as always, you can pause the video anytime you need to, to listen to this again. So let's read number 16. It says, Adam takes 38 rocks out of a box. There are 23 rocks left in the box. How many rocks were in the box to start? Now this one's kind of a tricky question. So first of all, let's circle those key words and numbers. That one didn't look so good. I'm having a hard time seeing that. All right, so having some issues. You know how that goes. So 38, I'm just gonna circle it. You know what it is. So they're out of the box and then 23 are still left in the box. So these are kind of important as well. And then it says how many were in the box to start? That means that if we have them all together, it's 38 plus 23 because we are talking about what they are before they were taken out of the box. That means this is an addition problem, even though it's on a subtraction page. So I have to remember my addition and I look at eight plus three, I know that makes more than 10. Eight and two makes 10 plus one more makes 11. So I regroup on this one. And then one plus three plus two makes 61. Okay, you can always pause the video. I'm going to erase this page and then I'm gonna to go to my next page. So I'm gonna to go to the next page and this one is a mid check med point check chapter ch test. Mrs. Q's can't talk today. So this one we're going to do together as well. Okay. Breaking apart numbers. When we break apart the numbers, we can also use the number line to help us. Okay. So let's look at 34 and we're going to take eight away. 34, we find 34 here. And we're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we end up at 26. Part of that, if we're breaking it apart, we go back four to 30, and then we do four more. So that's breaking this apart with four and four. That's why it's called a break apart. Okay, let me erase that one. And obviously you can always pause the video. 45, let's look at 45. Here's 45. And we're gonna go back 17. So first I'm gonna go back the first part I'm going to hop back here. That means I'm going back to my 40. So that's one, two, three, four, five hops. So I'm breaking apart this number five hops back to 40 plus another one, two. That makes my seven. And then I'm going to jump back 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's at 28. So I'm breaking this apart so that way I can count it easily. Okay? That's called a break apart number. You could also do this in if you lined them up and did it that way. But it's showing you different strategies for different times. All right. Drawing a quick picture to solve. We've done this before. So let's make sure if it's subtraction, the only number I'm writing here is my top number. I have 42, 42. And I have to take away nine from my ones place. Nine is bigger than two. So I know that I need to regroup and I'm gonna bring this over and I'm going to make my 10 frame. Make sure I have five and five, that makes 10. This is my 10 frame. So now I have one 10 and I still have the two ones. So one 10 and two ones makes 12. And I regrouped, so I only have three tens now. I don't have four tens anymore. So now I'm taking away 12, I'm going to take 9 away, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'm going to be left with 3. 3, take away 2, 1, 2, left with 1. So my answer is 13. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have 54, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens, and 1, 2, 3, 4 ones. Now let's look at our ones place. Is this one different than number 3? The answer should be yes, it's different. 4 is bigger than 3, so there is no regrouping here. I can just subtract 1, 2, three, and I'm left with one in my ones place. I take two away from my tens place, and I'm left with three. No regrouping. So excellent. Let's go on to number five. Let's look at our ones place. What do you notice? That eight is more than three. If you still need to draw a picture, you can do it just like number three and four. Go ahead and draw a picture. But eight, take three away, is five. No regrouping. Seven, take four away, is three. No regrouping. But when we go to number six, I see a zero in my ones place and zero is less than six. So I know that I need to go to my six and my six becomes a five and my zero is one ten. Ten take away six is four. Five take away two is three. Answer is done. I did need to regroup. And again, if you need to circle, go ahead and circle. For grandparents and parents at home, regrouping is just borrowing. Okay? Number seven. Five is smaller than seven. So I know I need to regroup in my tens place. My eight becomes one less. And my five now becomes one ten with the five ones. 15, take away seven, I can hop back to 10, and that's five less, plus or minus two more makes eight. That's how Mrs. Q's brain works, because I can go back to 10, and then we could always go use the number line too. Seven, take away three more, is four answer is done. Okay, and the last one we're going to do together 
is number eight. Marissa had 51 toy dinosaurs. So we need to circle 51. She gave, remember, gave is important, 14 toy dinosaurs to her brother. How many now? So we know that she started with 51 and she gives them away. She doesn't have them any longer. So that's subtracting. And so we subtract four, 14. One is less than four. So I know that I need to regroup. I'm gonna make that five, one less. And I'm going to make my one, one ten plus the one, one. So 11, take four away, is seven. Four, take one away, is three. We did those together, friends. And you can always pause the video and go back and listen again. Enjoy the rest of your time working on math and always practice and double check. See you later.